Welcome to episode three of me learning to play drums. I mean, last week you saw just how bad the kick drum was scooting across the rug, right? And it only continued to get worse. It was actually just really not staying put whatsoever. I did order another rug from Amazon while I was waiting. Uh, that has arrived and I'm about to unbox that and go ahead and do a quick time lapse of me putting it all back together again. And I'm filming this at the beginning of the week just because I need to get this all set back up and hope that the kick pedal stays put on this new rug, even with the little drum blocks that I've got. So let's check that out. All right, so we're on what, episode three or episode four of me learning to play drums. And for those of you that haven't been following along, I am a metal guitar player <laughs> learning to play drums for the first time in like 15 years. The last time I started trying to learn to play drums was when I lived in a house, I could have a real drum set. Haven't been able to do that in a really, really long time. Now I'm finally in a place where I can at least have an electronic drum set. So I've got the Roland TD-17 kit set up right behind me. Let's go ahead and dig into what I've been doing for this past week though. Well, over the last week, I didn't get as much done as I thought I would. I was going to learn my first song on drums, which didn't end up happening. I tried to learn a few different ones that I actually like to listen to, a couple of Day to Remember songs, for instance, and I just wasn't able to keep up with them yet, so I went back to learning the basics. The key is though that I put in a lot of time practicing drums this week. I'm gonna pose this to all of you. What is a song that I should learn first? I learned some ACDC stuff. I don't care to play that on camera. I'm not going to. What are some like metal, metalcore, pop punk, or adjacent style songs that have relatively easy drums that I could learn and learn the whole song all the way through? Go ahead and leave that in the comments for me because I would love to learn a song all the way through. I think that would be great for my mental health when it comes to learning the drums here. Um, some things that I'm still struggling with. So, still struggling with my left hand. Um, I am right-handed and when I hit the snare drum and the hi-hats at the same time, I tend to either, one, bash my uh, right hand knuckles with the stick as I'm coming back up, or not hit the snare drum hard enough as I'm coming down at the same time with both drumsticks. So one on the hi-hat and then my left hand on the snare. I'm not hitting the snare hard enough and I don't really know how to fix that. I haven't found a ton of videos on how to fix that for instance either. So what are some tips that y'all might have to help me get past that? This coming week I'm going to be working on my doubles on the kick. Um, I'm going to practice it with both feet too because I do have a double kick pedal and I want to get my left foot catching up with the right foot as far as endurance goes and strength too. I noticed my left foot when I uh, hit the kick drum is significantly lighter most of the time than my right foot is. So I'm trying to figure that out as well, watching some videos here and there on that and I haven't found a ton that's helped me to be honest with you. So if you've got any suggestions there, please let me know. And I'm going to start working on some of the different rudiments like paradiddles for instance. Always fun to say that word for whatever reason, but I really do need to lay into that and rolls on the snare drum and toms obviously for that matter as well. And then I did get some feedback from people last week about loosening up and I look back at the video and yes, I am definitely sitting up straight and everything, but I am trying to work on my posture. So that's one of the reasons why I do that is because I need to work on my posture. I'm always hunching over. I'm a guitar player, right? So I'm always hunching over. I'm trying to stop myself from doing that. And I'm going to work on loosening up a little bit more and having a little bit more fun while I'm playing drums because I looked back at the video from last week and noticed, yeah, I am very robotic looking. I'm just hitting the drums and just going through the motions. Uh, that being said, I also need to work on my wrist movement as well. I do notice that my wrist, I'm actually swinging my whole arm on a lot of the different patterns that I'm playing instead of working on the wrist movement, which a lot of people have thankfully left as feedback to me inside of the comments on different videos that I posted. This is what I've worked on this week. This is what I'm going to work on this coming week. I am also going to start trying to incorporate fills in my playing a little bit more properly. I'm kind of 
terrible at timing when it comes to putting fills into a drum beat, which is funny because I'm great at programming them in with MIDI, but I'm not great at putting them into practice with real drums. I really want to work on that this week because fills are probably the most interesting thing about drums for me. I love keeping a beat, obviously, but fills are what keep it interesting for me. So any other suggestions you all might have, please leave in the comments for me. I greatly appreciate those of you that have commented. It helps a ton along this journey of me learning to play drums. Till next time, I'll see you all soon.